in the hell? Oh. <laughs> Holy oh smokes! My God. What is no, this? no, 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 no. What? His ACL is going to explode or something. Oh, God. Welcome back, everybody. Blah. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Honey, today the team has put together a conglomeration of clips titled Badminton Training, and I have no idea what to expect, but they literally wrote in the notes, just trust us. Okay. I was like, well, I'm going to trust you. We do. And I'm going to jump right into it. Let's see what they're talking about, what they're up to. Okay. What? <laughs> I see what we're doing here. What? Nice. Dude, that's actually pretty intense. They just do a full ass. That's not even a kickflip. That's like a. Don't act like you know skateboard moves. Stop it. Uh, uh, excuse me. Down. I used Calm to string down. together. Big man on a I used I'm to not string together you. seven figure plus tricks on Tony Hawk 4. One, two, and three as well. I was one of the best Tony Hawkers of all time. Original PlayStation. You should see, uh, dude, the multipliers, I was like times 70. I've played the grinds, the nollies, no, the manuals, the game. Smiths grinds, the Benny Hanas, the 50-50s. Talk to me about don't know my skateboard tricks. I thought you were gonna try and fool me by saying you've been on a skateboard No, before. no, I would break both my hips if I was on a skateboard. I've definitely been on one and I can well, ride on one, but I could never do anything that was wheels leaving the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a me. I thought it was gonna be legitimate people training for badminton, but maybe this is like a meme going around where people are- Doing crazy things and saying this is their badminton training? I guess, let's we'll find, find out. Yeah. My first badminton tournament. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Oh, I love <laughs> okay, it. Okay, I'm into it. I dead ass thought we were gonna be watching badminton training. I was kind of How happy are you? I was not? no, I was kind of pumped, but oh. I think this is gonna be better for the audience and for and us. And for me. I'm already there, in here trying to think about what I can do to there, there might be some real train for badminton. You have to do a video like this on here we go. Day 31 training for my first badminton tournament. Jesus. Oh, his wife's on a pulley? What the hell? <laughs> his That's wife, a lot of effort. Yeah, but his wife is actually helping him in this case. So as he goes down, the weight bearing him into the hole is lifting her off the ground, alleviating the weight off his back, and then her weight is helping him come out of the hole, right? Sure. You don't understand how a pulley That's works? That's a lot of science. Do you don't understand how a <laughs> pulley works? I'm just like, I like it, yeah. it's cool, but let's not pretend he's lifting the weight of his wife as well. She is the counterweight for him burying himself under the squat. Okay. Oh my God, you can't. Let me pull up CAD real quick. I need to explain, you see the pulley. I get it, shut up. All right, so, <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't get it. You don't get, it. You don't get it. So you think Maybe that- Maybe show me again. <laughs> <laughs> you serious, sir? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's a pulley and as he goes down, it's pulling her up. Yeah, I get that. Thank so you. her weight is working in the opposite way of the weights on his shoulders. So now him getting out of yeah, the hole. Yeah, I get it. It's pulling. I get it. As a pull. However much she weighs. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna leave it at that. I think we've done enough here. We've done enough. At the here. end of the video. Mrs. Lush was not a <laughs> physics major in college. No, I do like science though, but she not does like that kind. Science. Not that kind. More like chemistry, anatomy, <laughs> anatomy. that kind of. Here we go, badminton thing. training. Yeah. What in the hell? Oh. Oh, oh, wait, I razor, am a razor scooters? <laughs> That's devastating. Oh my God. Dude. The, you can feel that, right? Yeah, the classic razor scooter to the shin cringe. It hurts. I gotta be honest, man. This didn't even have the badminton training meme, but that would be perfect for it. Every day is leg days. I've spoken about this ad nauseum before on the main channel about how like the fitness industry, like these are obvious jokes, yeah. but social media created this crossover where it became less about good information. Not to say that doesn't exist, but then saturated with just bullshit to try to get yeah, visibility, which so it's like, uh, there's needs to be a healthy balance. And I guess it's okay. Cause I'm entertained right now. Oh, 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 oh. Come oh, on now. Oh, oh, don't land back on your head. No, 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 no. The back and forth. That's a neck injury waiting to happen right nah, there. Nah, it's training, baby. Old video of me before joining coach. So did he like have a coach that was teaching him how to do? Okay. Yeah. That's, the... That's not easy. It's like 
basic breakdance technique, though. I need to be able to stand on those hands. <sighs> Breakdancing's the best. I hope there's some breakdancing. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. This, this guy again. <gasps> Why would the scooters? No, 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 no. I'm not even sure I'd do that with, oh. like, shin pads on. <laughs> Is there a mouse living under my shin? Why? He's like Houston Jones. Remember that dude I showed you who just injures yeah. himself? Yeah. I guess everyone's got their niche. I'm just glad that's not mine. Holy moly. Okay, that is a ripped old man. Holy sh ripped. sh balls. That's some muscle. Bill Maida. This guy's what, like 60 and 7% body fat? Gonna click on this real quick. Holy oh smokes! God, the 70 kilogram dumbbell hanging from his teeth. This is bad mid training right here. Seriously. <laughs> his skin is like paper thin, dude. I'm like pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're there. <laughs> Don't pull the caliper out. Yeah. You've got about 40% body hair while you're at it. Uh, yeah. It like takes 10 pounds off of him. Yeah, yeah, it makes me look a lot leaner, and then I realize I'm still like 18% body fat, probably. Oh come on, what is no, this? No, 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 no. What? Why and what? Oh my, no, 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 no. What just happened? What's, what? He's doing a one-handed push-up on a th on his thumbs. Wait, hold the f***ing phone. Thumb push-ups with no feet on the ground? I don't like the knife thing. I don't know, but let's look at his For arm. For some reason, I Like, really how many like accidents has he had trying to do this, That's what dude? what I'm talking about. How do you even do a push-up, A, with your body extended with no feet on the ground? That doesn't even make sense to me from a biomechanical standpoint. Core strength. But then to do it on your... Yeah, but I guess your, your hands have to be wicked low. Just, I'm thinking, like, center of gravity yeah. type. Yeah. With the thumbs. Your hands are pretty far back. You think you could do one? No. I like just got to the point where I can do multiple regular push regular push-ups off my knees. Yeah. Okay, that's insane. To land in a one-legged squat, dude. How are your knees not just exploding out of your shin? Like this is the type of sh like enjoy your youth while you have it. Like yeah. you're in your 20s, life is at its pinnacle right now physically. Not to say there aren't exceptions, but there's just no way someone over 40 is pulling off a move like this. To land in a one-legged pistol that's, squat? That's, that's, to land in a one-legged pistol squat like that? God damn, dude. Unreal. Super impressive. Also helps, like, you don't know this by looking at this video, but there's no chance this dude's taller than 5'3". Yeah. There's just no chance. The shorter you are, the better for shit like this. If there's anything I was, you know, I've always opined about how I love being tall, and I do. It's lovely. There's a lot of advantages, but I do sometimes envy the physical feats that smaller people can do. Okay. But it certainly does not outweigh the benefits of being tall. <laughs> Here he is. Oh is this the same guy training from my first? It's gotta of course be, right? it is. This is like his thing now. What is One of these days, his it's gonna, like his ACL is gonna explode or something. Oh God. That, like then? That was holding a ping pong ball in his eyes. There's no chance you can do that. Is that a skateboard under his foot? It's a balance board. Oh. Which makes it even more obscene. Oh, he got, oh, that was, I thought we were the same one. We were actually getting, he dropped the ping pong ball in the cup. Coming down to the wire now, he <laughs> says. <laughs> yep. What in the world? The chains. On the balance board, that's actually so much weight, though, is the thing. That is so much. And he has the chains added to it, too. Assuming those are 45-pound plates, that's Holy two, four, smokes. six, four, four, oh, five. That's like 550-something, five to 600 pounds plus the chains on a balance board. That's pretty obscene. He does have the bands going over the top. And the head thing, that's... I don't know what the head thing is. I think it's just for looks, I, right? I, 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 sure. I don't know. I can't. There's too much going on. Here we go. Woo! This is what I'm talking about. You were dying to see some God Redman. damn, this chick is not playing around. Oh my God. Honey, I have a new online crush. Oh, well, wow. Excuse me. To see the way those badmintons penetrated that cardboard. You just can't train that. I don't see you get this hot and bothered that often. <laughs> During work. It was the badminton skills, really, is what it was. Yeah. That could have been Bubba Joe doing that, and I still would have got off all that stuff mattered. What in the world? Like, that blows my mind. Jesus. With 70 extra pounds and a weight vest? That is 
Silly. Wow. Like, How are you, you a trained gymnasts? Is yes. that what's going on? Clearly, those types of people have a lot of training. Here he is, Mike again. I'm actually getting invested in his badminton training. I know. Now. Um, was he juggling? He was. Also, I just on, really, a, on a unicycle. Yep. Jesus Christ, Mike. I just need to know: Is he gonna post the badminton tournament? He's got to sign up for like an actual badminton tournament eventually, but then the stick would be kind of over unless you could then train for the. No, then he could keep going. Train for the semifinals, or you know, train for the finals. I need to know. There will be no badminton tournament. I promise you. No. <laughs> You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Listen, if I'm going through all that, I'm going to at least try. Mrs. Lush wants the payoff. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get injured because then he might miss his bad. Then he definitely tournament. would have to, oh man, <laughs> be on the injured reserve. Yo, here we go. Yo, did you see that move? <laughs> what the? Get out of here. What just happened? This whole thing. No way that was on purpose, right? And then this was that play that looked that like has to be that looked like CGI a little bit. But no, I don't know. That's crazy. I don't know how that video was made, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was just it was just a lot going on with the cats. QV, you misjudged the guy that plays badminton. Here we go. Look at this little ass guy. Bro probably about to start ego lifting. Single leg IDLs, nothing crazy. With 200 pounds, that's pretty impressive. The fuck is his knees made of? <sighs> Bulgarian, right. Bulgarians. I just want to throw a bucket at those. 225 Bulgarians? A Bulgarian spin squad with 225. God damn, dude. I recently did them with like 30 pound dumbbells and was sore for in five days. They're, they're like, brutal. I don't need to go particularly heavy for those. No, they're probably one of the best ways to grow your legs, honestly. If mine is like a full compound If you can squat. handle the mental fuckery that comes with doing them. Brutal. They hurt my soul. Yeah. Doing the stack. Yeah, the guy's nah, just kind of gassing stack himself up. Nah, the machine is kind of wet. Yeah, leg press is like its own thing. You can stack a million pounds on that. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, he's ready for the badminton tournament, too. This might be the last one from Big Mike here. He's running out of time. Day 25. Unicycle. The unicycle out. messes me up, dude. I couldn't. The head thing is probably a necessity. It's obviously helping him balance with the bands. Because there's no way you can do that without a little bit of help from that up top. Bro. <laughs> I think maybe day 30, day 31. Well, I just want to know. Do you think he's going to take home the championship? Oh, there's no way you train that hard and don't win a badminton tournament. <laughs> yeah, 100%. He's going to make that girl that was puncturing the cardboard look like a f***ing B-leaguer. Badminton's one of those games where, like, it's the way I feel about my golf swing. Like, I'm a 6'3", oh. and I, I'm strong. I should be able to hit the ball 340 yards. Doesn't matter. And then there's, like, a 45-year-old man that's, like, a string bean, weighing 130, and just ropes it 40 yards longer than me. I'm like, you it mother not matter. It's all technique, baby. <laughs> Here he goes. Oh, it's like the, it's like the games at the yeah. arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what this guy's brainstorming sessions are like. Same. All right, he's definitely ready. Before we end this video, we would really like to wish Mike the best of luck in his badminton tournament. Hundred percent. I hope that you come out on top, and part of me hopes that you don't win it because then that will motivate you to continue training. <laughs> <laughs> harder for your next badminton tournament, inevitably. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you stay physically tuned up in case a badminton tournament ever comes to your area and you want to sign up for the bracket. <laughs> it's March Madness time after all. Ah. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.